Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Colmston Farm. Here with me, see what are you? I am plowing the new field. The new secret meadow number two field. That uh, we're gonna redo, we're gonna reseed it, regrass it. Everything's gonna be good. Gonna put the trees back as well and um yeah should be pretty good going i think so i'm just uh doing my first initial run be very uh careful to avoid going too close to the edges avoid the uh So yeah, I'm going to put some trees back in between the two fields, as was originally there. Um, and then going to um, put some back down the uh, wall there. Recreate the secret meadow as it should have been. leave a bit of room. I'm not going to go all the way down to the edge this time. There we go. Right, that's the... The, the boundary of the field door. And you just need to plow the, the rest in between. Be all pretty good. Might then go and start doing um Field 22 as well after this. Get a bit of a head start on that field as well. It's going well. It's going well. I was, I was going to spoke, going to be recording Riverview today. And that's what I was supposed to be recording today on Monday. Typically, I record my, my Riverview series or, you know, Hout Baylor on series, Huron County Riverview series on a Monday. Get the episode, the week's episodes recorded for that on a Monday. And then on Tuesday, I record the Carmsden series. But I loaded up the game just now and um, had forgot to switch my mod folder. And um, I'm too lazy to close the game, switch the mod folder and relaunch it. So I figured... Hey, I'll record Calmston on Monday for a change. And then I'll um I'll get Riverview and Dolores' adventures recorded tomorrow. Um we should be fine. We should be interesting. Do things a little bit different this week. I can't believe we're nearly into June, ladies and gents. I know it sounds strange, me saying we're nearly into June, as it's only the 16th of May today, as I'm recording this. But I have actually now got videos uploaded and scheduled into June for the channel. I am getting quite a bit ahead of myself now. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking the fact I've got quite, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a couple of weeks ahead of with videos on the channel. I like that. Series is, or, you know, advancing quite happily. It does, however, mean that sometimes 
I, 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 I realise that when I'm asking myself, asking questions in these videos, I'm not going to get an answer for weeks. <laughs> I'm not going to get an answer to those questions for weeks because you guys just won't see the videos for several weeks. Um, so, like, I think in like Riverview, I asked the question, you know, which, which, which area of the map should I buy for my starting farm? Um, it's like, well, you're not going to see that video for <laughs> another two or three weeks. Um, what am I going to... So, if I'm still recording for the next two or three weeks, I could potentially be nine nine or so episodes ahead in the series before I actually get an answer to my question. Um, But it just makes things a lot easier for me to record that way, to record in batches like that and get the videos uploaded like that because um, I don't want to be hand to mouth. I don't want to be pressurizing myself. Oh, I need to get a video recorded because it's got to be uploaded tomorrow. And especially with the whole YouTube taking its sweet ass time to convert videos to HD these days, for whatever reason, I'd rather be, you know, I'd rather be a little bit in front so that when the videos come out they are, you know, perfectly viewable and watchable. I've hated that when I've tried to do a, um, some, some of the map look videos that I've done, when a map's come out and I've tried to do a video and release it that same day, um, it just doesn't seem to work because YouTube just doesn't process the videos into HD. So those first few people that click on the video, they see it at 360 and go, ugh, and click off, and they never come back to watch the video. So the map look videos, if I if I record them, like if a map releases on ModHub today, and I decide to do a map look video of it today and upload it, it gets absolutely panned in the um, YouTube analytics and algorithm. It doesn't get processed into HD, and therefore, if it's not in HD, people don't tend to watch the whole video in the first sitting. They watch a couple of minutes, they probably watch a minute or two of it, and then they, they, they dip out, and that's bad. <laughs> that's uh, not, you know, that's uh, lost retention. It's, you know, audience retention on that video is very low, and therefore YouTube then knocks you down in its algorithm, which then hurts the rest of the channel as well then, um, weirdly. So, yeah, I don't know how these will be creators and that do it how how they're able to get videos uploaded and in hd on the same night unless they're only uploading i mean could be different they could only be uploading in 1080 of course um that could be the difference and therefore youtube doesn't have quite as much to process and it's not quite as complicated to process a 1080 video whereas i'm always uploading in 4k which obviously is a lot um a lot longer <laughs> and especially the way YouTube does the conversion and the way it puts it into its own format its own streamable format it does it all weird because I submit a 4k video and you'd think okay they'd start with a 4k because the video's already in 4k and work backwards a bit like the way twitch does it twitch when you when you stream on twitch it takes whatever quality you are streaming at and that it sets that as the first like you know the the output so when people click onto your stream the first thing they will see is the video at whatever quality you're sending it at and then if you've got you know if you if you're a, a, a an affiliate or a partner you then probably get the transcode different transcode options so if somebody then can't watch your stream at you know highest quality they can drop it down to you know 1080 or 720 or whatever resolution they want to watch it at on whatever device but youtube does it backwards you submit a 4k video and they start processing and encoding it in standard definition first then they move up to 720 and do a 720 video then they do a 1080 video and then if you've got higher resolution they do that last it's like well why I've already submitted you. You don't have to convert the video to 4K. It was already in 4K. <laughs> you, should, you should post it at its original resolution. And then you should they should um, do 1080 next. Then 720. And then the lower options as a last resort thing. Because again, I don't know how many people these days watch videos in like four, uh, 360. 
or 144p. That is awful quality. I mean, most mobile devices and that these days, and smart TVs and computers can definitely handle 1080. <laughs> But yeah, I figured I'd get this ploughing done today, end of April, so we can get seeding, hopefully, um, in May. And then we can get make sure this field is um, fully fertilised and prepped. Might need lime spreading now. Um, yeah, poly, of course, because I've got precision farming, it's not going to tell me if it needs lime or not. I'm going to have to check that myself. I have to bring the lime spreader down and... Just have a look at what it feels and what it finds for the uh, Gonna get the trees put back in. Also, I have found a way to slightly alleviate a little bit of my problem in the game with um, precision farming <laughs> and this map having like weird fields um, certainly like having the, uh, the, 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 the the sheep field the field next to the sheep the cow field being field fields and it's like, oh, for precision farming, I'm going to need to get in there and, um, you know, I'm going to have to get in there, do all the, um, um, plowing, liming and everything, because those fields were permanently like, the, the status was wrong on those fields, but... I have using the, the the wonderful easy devs mod the easy dev tools mod by GTX um if you look um don't need to do plowing now if I turn off the mulching status um field 4 a lot of field 4 field 31 field 15 field 34 field 8 they've all been um We've all had the plough status removed. So hopefully in the next time I'm I'm I'm, I'm mowing those, um, I'll get the uh, the, the 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 precision fight the environmental score should jump up massively now on those fields. And I do need to mow them at some point and also um, fertilise them again just to get that score to update properly. There we go.
So yeah, I'm not going right down into the trees this time with this field. Um, I've gained a little bit of land, obviously. The several different locations. Right, decoration. No, nope, landscaping. Trees. Now, what I found from having played around with the map in the map editor, the trees that are on this map are ones that are normally sunk and buried into the ground are these large um these large american elms so i'm just going to place a bunch of these and spread them out a bit Man. couple in behind here actually so what i want to do i want to let a bit more of the natural natural light you can rotate these as well if you want to try and mix them up a bit so they don't all look generically the same give them a bit of a spin Obviously, put one right in the corner. Even start moving them back into the uh, hedge row a little bit. I think that would be uh, kind of cool. And one right in the corner. Go, two trees. Right now, you use a different tree. Some of these lovely native British oaks. Right. This kind of no man's landy bit. Like I say, I'm not, I don't want to join it all into one field and help it. Uh. Pines. What else have we got? Interject a couple of little bushes here and there. Block out. Little bit. Bit like that. Just to uh, fill in a little a few of the gaps. Don't want to leave it fairly open. Yeah, doesn't that look better, ladies and gents? Unfortunately, there's a weird um there's a light, there's a um, telegraph wire that comes from over here that doesn't actually connect to anything on the map. Obviously, Oxy didn't intend people to come into this area and remove all the trees and turn it into a field. So unfortunately, you have this telegraph wire that stretches across the map and goes to nowhere. Um, so it's kind of always there as a black line on the screen. Um, it's a bit disappointing, really. I have, in the latest updated version of this map, I've already gone into Giant's Editor and I've deleted that random wire. I've removed it. Because I'm like, it doesn't go to anything. It doesn't need to be there. 
I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but I'm going to be using this map or the updated version of this map as my new server map. Um, once my current um, server period expires and I need to renew it. Right. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun, ladies and gents. I'm going to start doing some ploughing here now. I mean, admittedly, we will need to come back and probably do it again. I think I want to paint a bit more along the top of this field and the bottom of this field. You know, with the with the paint tool. Mm. Let's have a look. Landscaping, painting. thing I am a little bit dis disappointed about in the in the in the updated version of this map that Oxy's released um uh you the, the grass texture when you paint the the grass plants on the map okay when you paint the when you actually paint the grass. Um, it doesn't match. <laughs> it still doesn't match with the, the grass texture of the planted, like when you plant grass and the grass that's already on the map. Still get this um, sort of American looking meadow grass. that edge sort this out a bit better. Nice gentle curve. Brings us then down here. Nice gentle curve. Go across the corner there. Nice. Run across this bit of gravel here. 
do want to put a bit of field back in. There we go. Now goes right up to the field edge. And then again down here. We're gonna want paint. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sacrifice a lot of my crop in this. It's going to do that horrible thing to me. Ladies and gents. Don't let me go up to the field edge. It won't. Right, plants. Let's do this then. Let's put the grass back in. That's where I've done that. So I will most likely come back down here and adjust this a bit anyway. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that the fact you can't get all the way to the map edge. Very disappointing there. Fully paint that. Shame. Can't get into that. Tiny little bit. Never mind. Come down here. Right, make sure we get that painted. So yeah, the field will get bigger. Because obviously it's being merged with another one. also because I'm going to obviously be doing this.
do this and then I can uh, I'm gonna go around the field once just to, uh... I know I'm sacrificing crop but hey I would rather get this field done <laughs> the barley's kind of not necessary really in the grand scheme of things at the moment Excellent. <laughs> All coming together. So this is going to be another big, big, lovely field next year. Just to get a proper, proper sized um, harvest off of. Obviously, plough all this bit in. I think this should be pretty cool once it's all finished. get the field done so new field made obviously won't do anything with this part of the field now for the rest of the year obviously we need to get the um the barley harvested first before we can think about replanting This field's obviously churning up some stones. We might come down here and stone pick at some point. Although, again, it's not a massive priority to get that done ASAP. We are, uh, we are working away. I was trying to get into a nice position there for the thumbnail screenshot. And then I messed it up by missing a bit. Ladies and gents. 
that'll do. We'll snap it there. <laughs> Let's uh, sort this bit out very quickly. Very nice. Right, I'll go and get this finished off then, ladies and gents. And when we come back for the next episode, we will be into May. And we'll have a look and see what we're going to do next here on Carmston Farms. So thank you for watching today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have enjoyed it. I will be back very soon with more content delivered straight to your YouTube inbox. And now, from me, it's cheerio and goodbye. Have a nice day.